Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. So I kind of wanted to give everybody an update of what I've been up to. We have been super, super busy. And let me show you what we've been doing. Here, so here's some of what we're doing. So we've been, let me turn this, canning tomatoes. So a lady friend uh, from work, she gave me a bunch of tomatoes and I canned those up. I also made zucchini apple butter and there's a whole bunch of them and then i made strawberry uh jam out of zucchini guys and oh my gosh if you guys want the recipe um the whole videos are on my new channel which is called on the homestead so that one's gonna have a whole bunch of homestead stuff and when we buy the property we'll be uh switching over and using that one so all right, so in the pantry, we have been making dill out of some of our cucumbers. We've been making um, sweet uh, butter burns, and now I'm using zucchini, you guys. This is an awesome recipe. This is um, pickled banana peppers, and they're absolutely wonderful. We have sweet... Now there's cucumbers and zucchinis. We also have uh, other pickles, dill pickles. We have a mix of peppers with carrots in them. And I also have, these are kosher zucchinis. Oh, and they're awesome. And more kosher zucchini dills. And I have sweet peppers. I have, oh my gosh, I have hot, sweet peppers made out of zucchini you guys i've just been <laughs> filling this pantry up and here's some more of that awesome strawberry jam guys it's made out of zucchini yes made out of zucchini and more kosher dills now i did have some cucumbers that were given to me and then some of them were out of our garden let me show you here's one that was out of our garden and you can see they're a little bit smaller so I just kind of cut them up and shoved them in there <laughs> and I also have which is awesome I can't wait to try them these are zucchini dill spears yeah don't they look good but I have a whole plethora guys of um oops of um recipes of leftover zucchini so if you guys get an abundance of zucchini oh my gosh and then I have all these habaneros that were given to me and they're not really hot so I'm thinking about pickling some of those and then I also have look at that jalapeno guys it is huge look at that that sucker is huge and I have red peppers in here and an orange pepper but these jalapenos they're just absolutely huge and i have really big hands so you can see this is like a four inch jalapeno guys i just can't believe it so my friend she gave us all this stuff i'm gonna make jardinera out of this which i have to get some cauliflower and i have all the other ingredients but i have been busy busy canning and she also gave us this butternut. It's a different kind of butternut squash. Um, she says if you peel it, you can can it like uh, sweet potatoes. So that's what I'm gonna make out of this guy is sweet potatoes and can it. Okay, and then the last thing that I've been doing is I put the fence back up to the chickens because the yard, guys, the yard was absolutely trashed. Um, they had eaten it down really, really far. And you can see there's the back fence. I put that back up. And my last but not least thing that I did was I got the gutter on. Yep, looks pretty good. Um, I did not film it, guys, because I had to go up and down the ladder, up and down the ladder. But um, <laughs> she's done, finally. And I put one of these screens over here on this barrel because a ground squirrel got in there and he drowned and died and I felt really bad so I definitely want to protect our wildlife guys but 
there's the gutter and um, it rained last night but have not checked it out and I need to get a downspout but my idea for downspout is this and let me show you so my idea for the downspout is to use this swimming pool hose and just dangle it um, to the bottom somehow uh, at the top of the barrel because it's starting to get holes in it and stuff so and I kind of wanted to reuse instead of just throwing it out um, I don't know but the thing is I don't know if it'll fit over the downspout it might and I might have to do some finagling uh, stretching to get it around there but that's what that's what I'm gonna try anyway and there's one more thing that I want to show you guys so we're back at our um, little chicken coop and look at that I found a little nest that they were making in the compost bin and I threw one of those eggs in here and they are starting to lay in this next box I'm so excited guys yeah I was like yeah you can't outsmart this smart chicken so that's what I did and it's working I've gotten two eggs so I'm excited so that's what I've been up to and the garden is um, it's almost done so which is kind of sad but that's okay because we had a really great year everything that we planted did really well cucumbers are actually still going so I may get a few more dills out of that but I wanted to come on here so that you guys can see what I've been up to and don't forget to go check out my new channel which is called on the homestead I don't have a banner or anything up yet um, we just started it there's a couple recipes on there so go check it out guys like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one